Secondly, God doesn't need to fine-tune anything. We talk about the parameters of physics and cosmology, the mass of the electron, the strength of gravity, and we say if they weren't the numbers that they were, then life itself could not exist. That really underestimates God by a lot, which is surprising from theists, I think. In theism, life is not purely physical. It's not purely a collection of atoms doing things, like it is in naturalism. I would think that no matter what the atoms were doing, God could still create life. God doesn't care what the mass of the electron is. He can do what he wants. The only framework in which you can honestly say that the physical parameters of the universe must take on certain values in order for life to exist is naturalism. We only have to accept the existence of an ordered reality based on laws. That is not naturalism. Naturalism means to believe that an ordered reality based on laws is all that exists and that the laws are more or less those that we understand. In other words, naturalism is simply an arrogant and unjustified assumption. On the other hand, if we accept that the reality we know is ordered, and based on laws, even if we may not understand all of them, then it is no more true that God could create life under arbitrary physical conditions. If God has created reality and its laws, there is no reason why he should contradict those laws in the rest of his working. Dr. Sean Carroll displays great hubris by putting himself in a position to judge God as wrong, inefficient, unjust, etc. This second point of argument against fine-tuning is not only bad philosophy, but especially awful religion.